Hey everyone, welcome to part 75 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we'll implement items that can cause evolutions. So for example, if I use an item like a Firestone on my Charmander, it'll make a Charmander evolve into a Charmeleon. Alright, so let's look at how to implement this. Special thanks to all my Patreons for making this series possible. By becoming a Patreon, you can support me and get access to the complete project files of the series. The project files also contain some advanced features that are not covered on YouTube. So let's start the video. So first, I'll create a new script for evolution items. So in scripts, Inside the inventory folder, I'll create a new script called evolution item. Alright, let me open it in Visual Studio and get rid of the default code. Okay, so this is a type of item. So instead of inheriting from the mono behavior, it's going to inherit from item base. Alright, so item base is the base class that all types of item inherits from. If you look at other types of items like recovery items or TM items, you can see that they also inherit from the item base class. Alright, so we'll do the same for the evolution item. So next, we need to add the create asset menu attribute so that we can add this item from unity so let me actually copy the create asset menu attribute from from the recovery item script all right and i'll change this to create new evolution item so next let's override the use function of the item base so if we type override It'll show us the functions and properties that we can override. So I'll go ahead and override the use function. All right. So in this function, all I'm going to do is just return true. I'm not going to do anything else here. The reason is because when we use an evolution item, it just goes to a completely different screen, right? So we won't be able to handle the logic of evolutions from here. We'll be handling it from the inventory UI script. Okay. So that's all we need in this class. So let's go to Unity and create an evolution item. So in game, under resources, we have items. So here I'll create a new folder for evolution items. All right. And let's create an evolution item here. So I want to create a Firestone. So let me give it a name and description. So next, we need to give an icon for it. So let me go to the art folder and check if we have any icons that we can use. All right, let me open this sprite sheet so we don't have any stones over here but i guess i'll use this item for now so let me just rename it to stone so that we can easily search for it all right so now let's go back to our firestone and let's select stone for the icon okay so next when we specify evolutions for a Pokemon, we should also be able to specify the items that can cause evolutions, right? So here, along with the required level, we also need a field for required item. So let me go ahead and add that. So I'll open the evolution class. All right. And here, I'll add a variable for required item and it's going to be of type item base. 
okay so let me also create a property to expose it all right so now while specifying the evolutions we can also assign the required item for the evolution so let me just assign firestone over here all right so this charmander can evolve into a charmeleon either by reaching level 16 or by using a firestone so next let's write the code to cause evolutions when an evolution item is used so let me open the inventory UI script so this is where we are going to implement the evolution items so in the use item function first we should check if the used item is an evolution item so here we only have the index of the selected item right this is an integer so first we need to get the reference of the item from its index so for that I'll call inventory dot get item and I'll pass the index of the item which is in the selected item variable and I'll also pass the selected category okay and by the way we haven't assigned the evolution items to a category yet so let's go ahead and do that I'll open the inventory script and in here we have a function called get category from item so this is where we are defining the categories of the item so we want the evolution items to be shown in the normal items category right so I'll just add an or condition over here and I'll check if item is evolution item so if it's a recovery item or an evolution item it will be in the item category in the inventory UI all right so let's continue the implementation of evolution items so first we should get the reference to the selected item so let me store it in a variable called item all right so next we need to check if the item is actually an evolution item so I'll check if item is evolution item so if that's the case then we should check if this item can make our selected Pokemon evolve so how can we get the selected Pokemon we can get it from party screen dot selected member right so let me actually store it into a variable so that we can use it more easily all right so now we should check if this Pokemon can be evolved by using this item so how can we do that we have a function called Pokemon dot check for evolution but this function only checks if the Pokemon can evolve based on Pokemon's level right so we can create a new function that will check for evolution based on the item used so I'll just copy this function all right so we don't have to change the name of this function we can still name it check for evolution but this function will take an item as the parameter right so you can define functions with same name if they have different parameters so this is known as function overloading all right so in this function instead of checking for level we should check for the required item right so I'll check if the required item is equal to the item that is passed in the parameter okay so now we can call this function from the inventory UI so we have to pass the item as parameter and this will return an instance of evolution if an evolution is possible so let me store the result in a variable called 
evolution all right and then if the evolution is not equal to null then that means this item can be used to make this pokemon evolve so we can just make the pokemon evolve by calling evolution manager dot i dot evolve function all right so we need to pass the pokemon and the reference to the evolution to this function okay and since this is a coroutine i'll add a yield return at the start all right so this function will load the evolution screen and manage the evolution so next if the evolution was actually null then we should just go back to the item selection screen right so in the else condition i'll call the close party screen function to close the party screen and go back to the item selection state and then i'll use yield break to return from the score team all right so in this case we'll just return directly and we won't run any of this code okay so here i also want to show a dialog saying this item won't have any effect so let me actually copy this dialog from here and paste it over here so this is all we have to do to handle evolution items so let me just write a comment over here for clarity all right so let's go to unity and test this so in the inventory of the player i'll add a file stone by default so that we can easily test it okay so let me expand the slots and let me replace some item with a firestone i'll just replace the super potion all right so let's go ahead and test this i'll open the bag and try to use the firestone on my charmander all right so you can see that charmander is evolving all right so that's working fine but we have an issue here once we come back to the item selection screen i'm not able to change my selection by using arrow keys i'm just stuck here so let's actually minimize the game window and see what's happening so let's try checking the current state of our game so i'll select the game controller and we can't see the game state by default since it's a private variable so i'll actually make this debug so we can see that all right so here you can see the current state is actually free roam but it should be inventory right so that's what's causing the issue so the problem is in the previous video we wrote the code to set the state to free roam when an evolution is completed right but now since we can also start evolution from the inventory state we can't simply set the state to free roam once the evolution is over instead we should store the state before the evolution starts and we should restore that state once the evolution completes all right so when the start evolution is fired we should save the state before changing it into evolution so let me actually add braces in here since we need more than one line in this function all right so we should save the state before we change it so we have a variable for that called previous state but i'm not going to use this variable since it's used in other places like dialog so i'm just going to create a new variable for this so let me call this state before evolution so it's always better to create specific variables like this 
here even though we have a variable called previous state we are not always setting the previous state when we change the state right so things like these can cause confusion in the future so we'll clean this up at some point in the future for now let's stick with this all right so in the case of evolution before we change the state i'll store the current state to state before evolution variable all right and once the evolution is complete instead of setting the state back to free roam i'll set it to the state before evolution all right so let's go ahead and test this now okay let me open the bag and use firestone on my charmander so it evolved into a charmeleon and now we don't have that issue anymore we are back in the inventory state okay so now let's also test the other case so if i try to use firestone on some other pokemon like pidgey then i won't be able to make it evolve all right so that's working fine so next i want to make a small improvement so right now when we want to assign an evolution item it shows all types of items right but this would be a better experience if it only showed the evolution items so that's pretty simple to achieve all we have to do is in the evolution class we just have to make the required item an evolution item instead of item base all right so let me change this from item base to evolution item okay so now if we try assigning an item for the evolution it will only show the evolution items okay so we are done with the implementation of evolution items and now we have a pretty flexible system for evolutions we can make a pokemon evolve based on the level or by using an item and with the system it's pretty simple to implement branching evolutions so for example if i want my charmander to have multiple evolutions then i can add more elements in this list and in this element we can use a different item to make the Charmander evolve into a different Pokemon. Alright? And by the way, if you don't want the evolution to happen based on the level, if you only want it to happen by an item, then you can always set the required level to zero. And then it will only happen if the item is used. So you can go ahead and try creating branching evolutions like the evolutions of Eevee. So I'll stop the video here. If you think these videos are helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. That'll really help me out. So I'll see you in the next video.